Now the first step is to make sure your graphic card is supported to play the game. So make sure you, you meet the minimum system requirement and your graphic card is supported. Now the next step is to restart Steam. Now do not ignore this step. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. Simply go to Steam, click on exit and then relaunch Steam and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to restart your computer. If that does not work, simply restart your computer once and after the system restart to launch the game. Next step is to close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner running, close it. Also close Revert Tuner. This is also causing problem for many players. So if you have Revert Tuner running, you can go to hidden items over here and close the Revert Tuner from here and close all the overclocking application. Next step is to uncheck. So go to First of all, close Steam. So go to Steam and then close Steam. I'm not closing, but you can go ahead and close. Now, once Steam is closed, type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on open file location. Again, make a right click on Steam and then click on open file location once again. And then this time make a right click on Steam and then go to properties and then go to this tab. And then if the option, this option is checked, uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game you can open steam once again and then launch the game if that does not work make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties and go to this tab if the option which says run this program this option is checked you have to uncheck this box uncheck it hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on browse over here. Go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file. So if the game installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the steam folder, open the steam apps folder, open the common folder and then open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, in my case, it is already added. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance over here. Now click on save and then launch the game. Now NVIDIA users can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop and then select show more option and then go to NVIDIA control panel, click on it. Now once NVIDIA control panel is open, click on manage 3D settings. So here you can see manage 3D settings, click on it. Now click on program settings and then click on add. Now, if you see the game over here, you can select the game from the list. If you don't see the game, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file, click on open. Once the game is added over here, now select high performance NVIDIA processor. On the bottom right, click on apply. Make sure that you hit apply over here. Once it's done, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now, this is important. So make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to Install Visual C++ file. Now this is important, so copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and x64. So download x86 and then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. I have already installed it. Just ignore this error message. It's telling me to restart my computer. So now download x64. And once the download is complete, run this exe file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. I have just installed it. So it's giving me the error message. It's telling me to restart my computer. So make sure once both are installed, click on restart. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. 
So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, well, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to now desktop users connect the HDMI cable or the display cable to the discrete graphic card that is connected to the NVIDIA or AMD graphic card slot. Sometimes the HDMI or display cable is connected to the motherboard which has the inbuilt the Intel graphic card. So you can connect the game to discrete graphic card slot and then launch the game. Next step is to make sure graphic card is enabled in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. Now expand display adapter. Now over here make sure both are enabled over here. Sometimes it is disabled, make a right click. And if it is disabled, instead of disable device, you will see enable device option. So in my case, both are enabled. So that's why there is a disable option. If it is disabled, you will see enable device. Make sure both are enabled or your graphic card is enabled and then you can launch the game. Next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like VAST, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security in Windows 11. In Windows 10, you have update and security option. Go to privacy and security, go to Windows security, then click on virus and threat protection, scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access, click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, and then click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Once the game is added over here, now click on add over here. In my case, I have already added. So here you can see the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, Windows 11 user or Windows 10 user, just type in WinWer, that is W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box and then click on WinWer over here and check right the latest version is version 23h2 so update your windows 11 to version 23h2 for windows 10 users it's 22h2 and if you you can even use windows 11 installation assistant so you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file and if your window is is not up to date click on yes to allow and then if there is any update click on install or you can click on update if there is update option windows 10 users can use this link this link is also provided in the video description open this link in a browser and you can click on the update now option on this page this will click on update now again run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and then if there is any update you will see update option or install option and then you can restart the computer and then check. Now the next step is to verify the game file. This is important. Do not ignore this step. This has worked for many players. So just make a right click on the game, select properties, go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now once the verification is complete, click on yes to allow and let the verification complete. Once this is 100% complete, then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to 
try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check if not working this time you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer if you have any external devices like hotas wheel pedals or any kind of usb adapter dongle connected disconnected try if you have sometimes we have extra controller or usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disable overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select property go to the general tab and if the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on turn it off and then check now also close all the other overlay application like if you if the overlay is on in discord turn it off in discord if you now turn off the overlay in geforce experience so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any third party application or services running close it including your browsers and then launch the game if you have undervolted computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after you uninstall it go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive then try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel